And welcome back to another episode of the Cryptcast. Joining me today is the lovely Zay Overseer. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, it was lovely. We, you know, I just ate as much as I could. And we had everything you can imagine for Thanksgiving. We had turkey, gravy, rolls, green beans, uh, uh, sweet potatoes, even though I didn't eat them. Cranberry sauce, even though I didn't eat that. But because I'm not a, I'm not a fan of sweet things on on Thanksgiving, I guess, except for uh, dessert where we had pumpkin pie, pecan pie and pumpkin bread with frosting. Nice. Uh, by the way, do you like pumpkin pie? Yeah. Good, because I'm the only one in my family that actually likes it. <laughs> oh, so I thought so my family that. My family doesn't buy a whole pumpkin pie anymore because I'm the only one that will eat it. So they only they buy me like singles. <laughs> For a second I thought it was walking into like it's walking into one of those these nuts or up dog jokes when you ask <laughs> do you like pumpkin pie? And I was like, uh what do I say? Pumpkin pie these nuts. <laughs> uh, but yeah, my my Thanksgiving uh was fine too. Uh had some family over. We had a lot of good food. We had turkey. We had green bean casserole, which is my mom's specialty. Uh, we had rolls and uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And so we had some sweet potatoes. Uh, we also had what we call at our house green stuff, which is just what we called it as kids. And that name just kind of stuck around. Uh, it's, it's pretty much pistachio ice cream with marshmallows and pineapple. Uh, I believe there's a name for it, but we just call it green stuff. There is, uh, it's, ah, fuck, what's it called? Uh, it's something salad. Also, cornbread stuffing? Gluten-free cornbread stuffing? I'm gonna say it, that's, it's way better than regular stuffing. Gluten-free diets are not as bad as people say. I mean, I mean, to be fair, uh, I have family that are, uh, are gluten-free or at least trying to be. And, uh, they, they eat pretty good foods, so. There's seriously some gluten-free recipes that I like more than the regular kind, including stuffing that I've just now found out. There's some, uh, vegan options that I like, uh, that are really good, but the, the one thing I won't have uh, of vegan options is meat. <laughs> like, just straight up meat. I will not have vegan burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technology's not quite there yet. <laughs> uh, now that we're entering the winter, are you looking forward to the winter? I don't particularly like the winter, honestly. I don't like the summer either. I like spring and kind of autumn, where it's just either sunny or rain. I don't like the super cold. I don't like the ice. I don't like heavy amounts of snow. And I don't like severe heat. <laughs> so Well you see what I like about the snow, like when I when I find out it's gonna snow or I wake up and there's snow outside, the first thing that comes to my mind is like, I'm gonna grab a shovel and go around the neighborhood and shovel people's lawns for for money or driveways. It's an easy way to make money. Like It is. Walk up to a house, hey, ten bucks to to shovel your uh driveway. Problem is you gotta do it fast because the first thing, pe it feels like the first thing people do when they, on a snowy day, is shovel their driveway. So you gotta get up early in the morning yeah. to go to people's houses. Yeah. And also, I'm, I'm, I needed Thanksgiving break, man, because, uh, I'm in, you know, going to university right now. Yeah. I'm currently going for a cinema studies major, mm. uh, because I want to go into filmmaking, um, writing and directing films. The, uh, these classes, they started out fun, now they're just miserable. That's the uni experience. Yeah. Uh, not that I would know, because I haven't gone to uni, but, like, everyone that has gone to uni that I know, that's literally the experience. Unless they're a suck-up, they're like, oh, I had the best years of my life in uni! You're fucking lying. <laughs> I mean, I... 
my classes, since I'm going for cinema s- studies, my classes have mostly, for the most part this term, they've just been, we watch movies and then we talk about movies. And that's been really fun. But lately, it's been a lot of um, uh, quizzes and scene analysis and essays. And yeah, it's not fun anymore. I mean, scene an- analysis is actually really good to delve into. It is. It's just, I don't know. It's just, man, I'm... I'm outclassed in my uh, in my classes by the other students and by my peers because like people will notice stuff about s- things in s- movies where I'm just like I there's how the hell did you notice that? The way I would look at it is that uh, don't look at it as a uh, comparison like oh I'm not as good as this person. Honestly, look at it as like different perspectives uh, on on things. To really, because that's what all sh- uh, directors and writers should do, like getting inspiration for their own work, you know? Yeah, it's just hard. Yeah. It's a hard class. Hey, if they ever ask you to do a scene analysis about End of Evangelion, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Why do I feel like somewhere Evangelion has shown up in a film class? <laughs> I really hope it has, and I really want i I want them to delve into the scene about him. <laughs> you the know? masturbation scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, despite all everything I just said, this class has been these classes have been fun in just that I've watched so many cool movies that I'd never watched before. That's like, good. Uh. <laughs> The first one that comes to my mind is The Birds, because we, I watched that in class for the first time. I don't know why that's the first one that came to mind, because, like, that was that was not a fun experience, watching The Birds. Because <laughs> if you don't know me, I'm a massive pussy, and I don't like horror movies, so I just spent the whole time watching The Birds, just, like, with my hand to my... with <laughs> Looking away with my hand to my face, just kind of, like, peeking at the screen every once in a while, because I was... I'm, sh- I'm such a wuss. <laughs> Um, we watched a, an old German movie, I think it was German, or French, one of those, uh, called The 400 Blows. It's about this boy's, just, his life, his upbringing, his, how, his, his school life. I was really into that. That was a really good movie. Probably, like, my favorite I've watched in that class. Uh, but there have been some other good ones. Rear Window, um, we watched this, this awesome movie called Dreams by this, um, it was a Japanese film by a director who just, like, made a film that's just a compilation of short films based on dreams he had, and they're so cool. Um, we've, we watched, I watched, uh, The Matrix for the first time. Oh my god. I know you were so, I know you were so surprised when I told you I'd never seen it. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those movies, like, it's one of those... It's one of those movies where you gotta see it. Before you die, I know, I yeah. know. Yeah, I've at least seen the first one, but did you like it? Yeah, I mean, it's super trippy, but I liked it. <laughs> it was also one of those movies where I feel like, it's one of those movies where, I, no offense to The Matrix, absolutely none. It's obviously a classic, and I did really enjoy it, but it's one of those movies where, like, I had it overhyped for me, mm. where it's like, people talk about how, like, like, it's one of those movies where people talk about it as just like, this movie is so good, it'll change your life. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm glad you actually uh, have been uh, doing that for your class. Like, that's an interesting uh, thing to do for, uh, for a film study class. But other than that, uh, can we talk about the elephant in the room that is Ruby? Yeah, yeah, I feel we definitely should, yeah. So, recently, I say recently as like a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh as of recording this, uh you ended Ruby Abridged after 6 years. Yeah, 6 years of Ruby Abridged. It finally this massive massively important th- part of my life. It's finally at an end. And I applaud you for how it went out. Thank you. Like, no exagger. I, I, this, this is obvious stuff that I don't need to say, but seriously, no exaggeration. Ruby Abridge changed my life more than anything else I've ever done. 
Yeah. And we're not going to talk about like a uh, certain uh, things you did with the last episodes because you can do that in your own breakdown uh yeah, commentaries. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to... I don't know when I'm going to do the commentaries. Probably uh, next year for the seven-year anniversary. Uh, but, yeah, I, I plan on going into ve a lot of detail with those. Because that last episode, making that was a fucking journey. A, a scene. Every scene from the two-part finale, I could probably do an entire video on. Yeah. And that's completely fair. Uh... But uh, I want to I want to ask you how you actually went about in planning uh, the uh, last two episodes because, like, originally you had planned to actually go as far as into like uh, was it volume three? Yes, it was volume three. Yeah, and that and that and then you changed your mind, uh, uh, understandably to just do the the first season yeah because the episodes were just coming out so infrequently one episode every year and believe me i really wanted to make have episodes come out more frequently but in all the time it took to write the episodes and voice the episodes and edit the episodes uh and with you know school work and life and everything and like just not having the motivation I, I I know it sounds crazy, but one episode a year was really the best I could do. Like they that was yeah. they were coming out as fast as they could, and I'm just like, I don't want to. If I'm only gonna make one episode a year, I don't want to be. It's going to take so long to finish this series, yeah. just to finish three seasons. I don't want to be doing this show until I'm forty. Yeah. So I decided after one season, uh yeah, that's when I would end it. And it's crazy uh, when you ended it because uh, it was just last year or the year before that TFS ended uh Dragon Ball Z abridged and which you know that was a staple of the abridging uh community and yeah and it, man sometimes you think sometimes you think wow it's still it's after all this time it still feels weird knowing that you know there's there's no new episodes of Dragon Ball Z and Bridge to look forward to. Or any a bridge from them. <laughs> uh but like it's it's insane. It it's really put into perspective on how you can go about ending a uh, a series. So uh like I I know some uh abrid uh, abridgers who have ended their series who uh or have done like stuff in one shots and have just been okay with that and it turns out really well uh yeah. you you are now a part of that class that uh things i guess i am things ended on a really good uh really good note and uh went out with a yang so i seriously think episode 10 might be the best episode of the series it's it's really good and again uh <laughs> Uh, I could say this in the commentaries, but like again, thank you for including me in in, in the last two parts. It, it was honestly I thank you for helping out with the audio because I if you know me, you know that I hate audio editing. It's the worst part of editing these uh, these abridged videos for me or any video for that matter i'm a masochist <laughs> i don't like uh visual editing but i will absolutely put my pour my heart into audio editing <laughs> i wish i wish i was you i can't i i love editing visuals but like I, how did i word this one time i like tweeted about it where i worded it like i will spend like hours editing one second of visual effects and i won't feel tired i will spend two minutes editing audio and just feel like i want it I want, i'm gonna take a nap <laughs> uh it'd be like that <laughs> uh i don't know what it is though like i i love doing it i think part of it is that my affiliation with music i really like uh music and i want yeah, that's definitely it i've yeah. never i've never been much of a music buff yeah, so part of it is that uh, I have messed with music in the past, and uh, 
that's why I got into audio work is because I just love uh, working with sound uh, right right into my ear. I listen to everything. But yeah, I, I hope everything sounded good uh, on my end. And you know, I'm not I'm I'm not quitting a bridging just yet. Yeah. Like I am still work. I I've got a a sequel to uh, an old video from 2019 that I'm working on right now. I don't know why I'm being so vague. It's a sequel to the Goblin Slayer short I made. Yeah. Uh, I'm working on that right now, but I'm not really sure what I want to do in terms of abridging after that because <clears throat> I'm at that point in my YouTube career, if you can even call it that. Um, I'm at this point that I feel like a lot of abridgers, that point that a lot of them get to where I'm just like, yeah, I've been doing this for a couple of years and abridging has really been fun, but I'm ready to work on something original. Yeah, and that's fair. <laughs> we say this on an abridging channel. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's... but uh, it's fair. It's fair th uh, thing to say because it it constantly happens. And uh, the thing the thing with bridge brains is that I think everyone's at that point in bridge brains. But uh, we're just gonna keep making things until everyone is just done with it, and we're just gonna make something uh, completely original, keeping the bridge brains name because bridge brains is a dope ass name. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. Bridge Brains is just going to keep doing uh, a bridging when we can. I know as of recording this, we have not put out a single abridged thing on Bridge Brains. <laughs> We've been, peop the, the people who do a lot of the heavy lifting have been busy. <laughs> uh, Zay is, is, only, is actually the only big release of the year. Uh, and honestly, I think that's a really good cap for it. <laughs> Ruby 10 was a huge thing. It was a huge it deal. Was. So I honestly... 20, 20, the thing is 25 minutes long. If, if honestly that's our only big project of the year, I say that's fine. <laughs> I, I'd like to make... <laughs> I know it's a little crazy ambitious to say like man i really want to make an animated series on youtube because like i don't know how to animate i don't have the money to pay an animator plus that also requires voice actors and you know if you actually want to be make something fully original then you got to make your own music too a whole production staff yeah and but i mean like if i can make like a short film that'd be really cool yeah I, i'm look i'm currently my focus is on I mean, nothing's being planned yet, but currently my focus is on that, where I'm just like, I want to make something original. What's the easiest and cheapest way I can go about that? Yeah. Uh, and honestly, uh, this might also get you into, like, learning new things, learning new programs, learning new skills, it, no matter how long it takes. I guess, I, I guess my only worry is, like, I don't want to... I love my fans so much, but there is this worry in the back of my head where it's just like, how many of them are actually going to stick around now that Ruby's over? How many of them? I'm sure most of them are going to stick with me no matter what, but how many of them were just like, I was only subscribed for Ruby Abridged? I mean, that's fair. Uh, I, I, I can say this, that uh, a lot of our analytics, a lot of our comments are from fans of Goblin Slayer Abridged. Uh, and that is totally fair. Goblin Slayer Bridge is where, from an analytical standpoint, is where we peaked. <laughs> I mean, and I don't, and you know, in a way, I don't blame them because I'm also sort of guilty of that, where I'm just like, I subscribe to a YouTuber for like, because I really love this one series that they make. Yeah. And then I don't watch any of their other stuff. Like, they'll put out like, like, man, I really like this YouTuber's series where they just, you know, review something or like, make funny sketches and then one day they'll upload something like i mean uh for me for instance uh i i was mostly known for my my subscribers subscribe for a bridge stuff uh mashups and memes what have i been doing since then none of that <laughs> i've been doing this thing called vtubing <laughs> and uh i love it <laughs> 
So, I mean, the great thing about the internet, a great thing, the one great thing about the internet is that when it comes to like getting popular or getting famous or however you want to word it, getting like a, a big fan base and getting views, there is no only one chance. Like there, are, you have infinite chances. You have so like even you have so many a attempts to like try something. Yeah. If something doesn't work, you can just try something else. Honestly, that's how I've been going about things. Like, and uh, that's honestly how Bridge Brains has gone about a lot of things. And again, uh, Zay's not done with the bridging, and while. While he's still on the abridging train, he's still gonna help Bridge Brains out with abridging while we're doing it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because uh, th this this boy is smart. He's got he's got a big brain. So uh, eh, eh, I don't know about we, that. We gotta pick we we gotta pick that brain of his uh, in whatever way we can. We got a lot in the pipeline for that. <laughs> My most ambitious thing. Uh, even though it's entirely doable, uh, is making a ment. Because I, I've i always seen it as, like, this thing, like, oh, you don't have to follow a plot line. You can just do whatever. However, you still have to be funny. <laughs> and that's why I'm... And that's why I don't think I'm even physically capable of making a ment. Because that's just the thing. There, There's no plot. You can't have... Like, that's the whole point of a ment. There is no structure. There is no story. It's just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> uh, and, and and my my writer brain trying... My writer brain is just finding back, like, no, must have cohesion. Do you, do you think uh, with the characters and story... With the characters and development that you've developed for Ruby Abridged, and with your skills in YouTube poops, as evidenced by the fucking Ruby YouTube poop that you made. Ruby Abridged YouTube poop that you made. Still proud of that. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, do you think you would ever make a ment for Ruby? I mean, I kind of did that with the <laughs> Shippy Ruby yeah, show. Pretty much. Uh, but, like, I mean, like, I mean, I guess that that's fair. Uh, because they were still kind of the characters from uh, Ruby a Bridge, but like they were in a men's style. So I guess that's fair. And honestly, uh, if you don't know how to create an original men, honestly, I think that's the best idea is to just make a ment of what you already made. <laughs> just to have like, oh, you we have this really uh, cool, cool, calm perspective. Uh, and then we have this high on crack uh, perspective <laughs> and that's honestly uh i think that's what uh purple eyes was going for <laughs> when he made the mints <laughs> man's a fucking genius he is uh and he went out with a fucking bang dude dude the digimon mint is one of my favorite videos i take a lot of Weirdly enough, I take a lot of inspiration from Purple Eyes in terms of a lot of my humor for my bridge series. Like, if I need inspiration to write, I'll just binge Code Mint or Nun Piece. <laughs> yeah, and, and and that's really good. But yeah, a, a bridging is just in that weird place where you can either just quit it entirely, or you can just do it whenever you want. Like, it, whenever you feel up to it. Honestly, no abridger should ever put themselves on a dot deadline. Mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> but. Jeez, I. Hey, I made one. I made one deadline. <laughs> but I. I. It's. Yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, oh, an abridge is out. I'll laugh at this. I'll have a good time watching this later. Or watching this when it comes out. It's. It's just. It's just a, chill, yeah, it's a, just a chill medium a, now. It's not like as hyped as it used to be, but it's still like a, it's still one of those mediums where you'll still have a good time. Yeah, and yeah. that's that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, and honestly, that's you know I'm in not, my life. 
And honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing. I would much rather have a chill time than a stressful time. Yeah, when the when I finally got done with Ruby Bridge, I'm not going to lie, it felt like a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I'm just like, oh, thank God, I don't have to work on this anymore. I don't have to constantly have, hey, you gotta work on the next episode of Ruby Bridge. I don't have to have that constantly breathing down my neck every day. <laughs> yeah. It's like when Sakurai stepped away from Smash. Uh, even though Nintendo will probably put out another Smash of some kind, Sakurai's just done with it, and he knows that. So he's he will post about it and not have the worry of, like, uh, people will uh, ask him to make another Smash. They'll, he'll have those annoying fans, but he will always have the clarity that, that like, <laughs> you thought. <laughs> like, he, he doesn't have to do anything. He can just live his life. He can work on things that he actually wants to do. And I think that's, it. we're in the same place. Also, it means I don't have to think about Ruby anymore. <laughs> you don't have to look at it uh, ever. Uh, not unless your friend tags you in some shit about it. <laughs> Goes on to tag you in a bunch of shit. Did you just diss? Yeah, I was about to say, did you just diss yourself? <laughs> Look, I don't watch Ruby anymore, so I don't think I would. But <laughs> I know Cube would. <laughs> I'm going to say this again. So it ingrains in your fucking skull. <laughs> I would literally not be here talking with you right now. Had it not been for Ruby and Bridge. <laughs> I would not be best friends with you. I know. Talking to you right now. Had it not been for Ruby and Bridge. So. However way you look at it. It was destiny. So. It's part of your. Your uh, timeline of awesome shit. To come. Look at it that way. Thanks. So I believe in you. To do awesome I mean, my entertaining shit. I mean, I'm only 25. My life is only a quarter of the way. I'm only a quarter of the way through. I got a long way to go. So who knows what I'll end up making in the future and what how big it'll become. Who knows? But I'll keep doing what I'm doing and making people laugh. Yeah. Honestly, that's how I see all, all the brains is that we're, they're all super fucking talented uh, and can do whatever they want. Feels like we are in a better place than we have been. Even even though like the the past couple years have been rough, there's no denying that. Uh, the past couple years have been rough uh, for the world, uh, but also on the bridge brain side of things, things haven't been perfect. I, I can admit that. Uh, things are in a good place right now because we're just doing what we want and we're having a good chill time. We're just vibing. Yeah, so I will say, I have been having a lot of fun with Bridge Brains this year. Like, more than I have since, like, 2018. I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing my own podcast. I'm streaming with Cube whenever he's here, which has been so much fun. That guy is a treat. Uh, I get to record these with you and watch a bunch of animes that I've never watched before for this podcast. It's been fun. What what do you want to do going into next year? No, don't say it like... I'm not talking about like any resolutions or some New Year's shit like that. But like, what do you see for the uh, foreseeable future? Uh, other than the shit that you already said. I am hoping that I will be able to make connections at my university. And Network. I'm... My Current, yes, network. That's 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 the key to being successful. Know the mm -hmm. right people. That's how you get big. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my plan, and hopefully that leads, even if it's something small, like, I don't know, writing for the fucking news, the morning, <laughs> the today show or something. Uh, and that, and that's I'll take, I, I, I don't know, I'm just like, 
I want a job, I guess, is the short way of saying it. I want a job in the next uh, year. Hopefully doing something that I enjoy, which is writing or editing or something. Not voice acting. No, never. <laughs> never again. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God! This yeah, man will never. This man. Income. This man will never understand how talented he is at the thing he hates the most. <laughs> Just like how like people keep telling me that I've been doing actually pretty well with visual editing, and I'm like, no, it's shit, and I hate visual editing. <laughs> you you have though. <laughs> no, <laughs> I could be doing so much better, and I don't like doing visual editing. I do it because I have to. <laughs> okay. J Chip, tell you what. <laughs> you're allowed to keep you're allowed to keep saying how terrible your video editing is if I'm allowed to say how bad a voice actor I am. Deal. No, because you're older and much better than me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh -huh, I got you. <laughs> uh but honestly I'm really excited to talk to you more on uh, these podcasts. Because honestly, doing these podcasts has been uh, really good for me, uh, especially doing the most recent Brainwatched that we did. You can go check that out. Uh, it's been really fun to do these podcasts. So I look forward to doing more of these with you. Aw, thanks. I'm looking forward to doing more with you too, and everyone in Bridge Brains. Yeah, and I'm really excited for next episode where we're going to be talking about uh, a certain thing that we already talked about, but like we're at... Yep, we're going back to... We're getting we're getting back in the Gundam. <laughs> we're getting back in the Gundam that Shinji wouldn't get in. <laughs> and hopefully the world doesn't end this time. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> uh... But yeah, I look forward to that uh, discussion because it's going to be really fun. And eventually, we're also going to talk about another show that we talked about already. Because I think next year, there's going to be a new Madoka project. And we're immediately going to talk about it. <laughs> because this man loves Madoka. I do. I'm really looking forward to the more of the Let's Talk episodes. And also, we're going to splice in some uh, just casual talk because we need it. We need it to really get things out there. Yeah. Yeah. And and if. Because I don't know, maybe just, just, just talk. Sometimes I don't want to talk about anime. Sometimes I just want to talk about, like, I don't know, this cool fact I learned about bananas. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> Did you know that banana trees are actually, uh, uh, they're not trees, they're like, uh, roots? They're like, they're like sprouts? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I learned something. <laughs> uh. you, yeah, you don't, you don't hear that shit from <laughs> Kill a Kill. I'm looking r real forward, uh, to what we do, and, uh, another thing, another thing you can look forward to is, uh, we're streaming more, uh. We are definitely streaming more, and uh, Zay, Cube, and I, uh, we've been streaming a lot, and it's been really fun. Uh, I, I've been streaming for myself and Bridge Reigns, and it's been really fun, so look forward to that. Look forward to, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, twitch.tv slash Bridge Brains, and also twitch.tv slash jchippers101, because, uh, it's really fun. I didn't think I would uh, get into streaming, honestly. But it's been really fucking fun. And honestly, it's been really fun to see you streaming. I might I might be do into doing... I, I think I've been doing uh, streams with Cube enough that I've kind of gotten used to the whole, like, live commentary thing. I might be down to do some solo streams. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to uh, the future of Bridge Reigns and... Uh, and for myself, honestly, too. And I'm really looking forward to uh, what you do. So, Thanks. Yeah. But I think that's a good way to end things off. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for sticking around. And uh, thank you for watching uh, as long as you have. And 
we're not stopping this podcast anytime soon so look forward to more episodes and uh we're not on a schedule for a release of these episodes we just do them when we can so uh if you want to keep updated uh keep looking at our socials maybe join our discord too so it's been really fun and thank you again for uh zay for joining me thank you for having me yeah and we'll see you guys next time bye bye I mean, no one's gonna eat your eyes. All we want to do is eat your brains. We're at an impasse here. Maybe we should compromise. Open up the door.